So what we have in this problem is an elevator which has a spring attached to the ceiling and there's a mass M attached to the spring. Now the information given is that the mass is 7.2 kilograms. The spring constant is 150 newtons per meter and the unstretched length of the spring is 0 0.8 meters. Now there are four parts to this problem. Part one is it says what is the stretch in the spring? Remember the unstretched length is 0 0.8 meters. And the question is, what is a stretch in the spring if this accelerator moves up with an acceleration of 0 0.95 meters per second square? Now, to solve this problem, what we'll do is we'll use Newton's second law of motion, which says that the net force that acts on a body is equal to the product of its mass and the acceleration induced by that force. So let's go ahead and examine all the forces acting on this mass M. So one obvious force you can see here is Mg, which is acting in downward direction. And the spring is pulling the mass in the upward direction. And we know that the force exerted by a spring when a mass is pulled is equal to the product of the spring constant K and the pull x or the distance by which the spring has been pulled from its normal position or unstretched position. Now before we go ahead let's set the rules of vector direction so we'll have any vector pointing in upward direction as positive and any vector pointing in downward direction as negative. Now with these rules let's find what is the net force. To find the net force, we'll put all the forces acting on this mass. And the first force we see is force Kx acting in upward direction. And it'll be positive because this vector is pointing in upward direction. And you have Mg pointing in downward direction. So we'll say it's negative. And this should equal product of mass and acceleration of the elevator, which is also the acceleration of the mass. Now, one thing you would have noticed here is that we've taken kx as positive, but in on most occasions, what we take is f is equal to minus kx when we deal with springs. And the reason for this is that on most occasions, we have a, we have a setup like this, where you have a spring which is attached to a mass, and probably it's on a table or something, and the mass is pulled in this direction by a distance x, and the, the vector notation under this setup very often is that any vector pointing in this direction would be taken as positive and any vector pointing in this direction would be taken as negative. And when you pull it by a distance x, it's a positive vector. The displacement vector is positive. And therefore, we say f is equal to minus kx because the force is acting in this direction. The pull of the spring is in this direction. And therefore, if x is positive, a negative sign here connotes that the force is acting in reverse direction. However, you see in this setup, because the because the sign notation we've taken, kx is positive because it's pointing in upward direction. So you see that the sign we take for denoting the vectors plays a big role in how our equations shape up. So getting back to this equation we have derived, force kx is acting in upward direction, mg is acting in downward direction and therefore negative and this is equal to mass into acceleration and acceleration here would be positive because the elevator is moving in upward direction and any vector in upward direction is positive so in a way this a value here is the absolute value because the sign has been taken into account so if, if we have this equation you'll find that x equals m into g plus a upon k and if we substitute the values which we have available, what we find is x is equal to 7.2 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 plus 0.95 meters per second square divided by 150 newton per meter. And what you get is 0 0.52 meters. So the stretch that the mass would experience when the lift moves up with an acceleration of 0.95 meters per second square would be 0.52 meters or the length of the spring would therefore be 0 0.8 meters plus 0.52 meters. Now the second question 
is what is the stretch in the spring if the elevator is moving up with a constant velocity of 14 meters per second that is it has accelerated up and then it has stopped accelerating and it's now moving up with a constant velocity of 14 meters per second so what you would understand is that the, the forces acting on the mass continue to be the same that is kx acts in upward direction mg acts in downward direction and this should equal to the product of mass and acceleration but the problem says that now the elevator is moving up at a constant velocity that is the acceleration is zero and therefore kx should equal mg or x should equal mg upon k and if you substitute the value of mass g and k what you get is x equals 0 0.5 Four seven meters. Now the third part of the problem is, and let me go ahead and rub off this portion. The third part of the problem is, what is the stretch in the spring if the elevator reduces its velocity from 14 meters per second to 0 meters per second in 9 seconds. So what we'll do is, we'll find what is the deceleration of the elevator and and we know the deceleration would equal to the final velocity which is 0 minus 14 meters per second which was the initial velocity divided by the time taken and what we find is is equal to minus 1.5 meters per second square so once again let's write newton's second law of motion equation and see what are the forces acting on the mass we know one force is kx acting in upward direction mg acting in downward direction and this should equal to the product of mass and acceleration and once again we solve for x which is m into g plus a upon k and if we substitute the values what we get is m is 7.2 kilograms into 9.8 and as we said a here is the absolute value that is a sign has been taken care of so we'll just go ahead and substitute minus 1.5 meters per second square divided by 150 which you'll find is equal to 0 0.4 meters now what you would have observed is that first the stretch was 0.52 then it reduced to 0.47 and then it further reduced to 0 0.4 meter now the reason for this is that initially when the elevator was accelerating we have learned in the earlier lesson that a uh, mass experiences increase in weight as the elevator accelerates and that's the reason that the spring is stretched by 52 centimeter a larger stretch in the spring indicates a larger weight and then when the velocity steadied it's the stretch in the spring was 0 0.47 meters that is it was not experiencing any gain in weight or loss in weight in fact this weight is the same as the weight would be if the elevator was stationary so constant velocity of the elevator and the elevator being stationary you'll get the similar weight and when finally the elevator decelerates all bodies inside the elevator would experience a loss in weight and that's the reason the stretch of the spring is further reduced to 0 0.4 meters uh, because it's indicating that there's a lesser stretch in the spring therefore a loss in weight now the fourth part of the problem is what they're asking is that if the height of the elevator is 3.2 meters that is what they're saying is this height is 3.2 meters they want to know what maximum acceleration can happen before the mass starts touching the ground so let's assume that the height of this mass is negligible and if this is the unstretched length or 80 centimeter the mass would have to go down by 2.4 meters to touch the ground so we have to find the corresponding acceleration which would make the mass go down by 2.4 meter or the spring to stretch by 2.4 meters so once again we'll use the same formula which says that kx kx minus mg is equal to ma 
But this time around, what they've given is x. That is, we know x, we have to find acceleration. So we know from this, a is equal to kx minus mg divided by m. And if we substitute the values, what we get is, is equal to 150 into the stretch that is happening is 2.4 meters minus 7.2 into 9.8 divided by mass m which is 7.2 and this equals 40.2 meters per second square which essentially indicates that if the elevator were to accelerate up with an acceleration of 40.2 meters per second square the gained weight would be so much that the mass will pull the spring down by 2.4 meters.